Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content. Starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Getting the right pair of glasses along with the quality eye care you deserve can be expensive, but not at Ideal Vision, where for a limited time you can get a complete pair of glasses for just $49.95. And right now that includes our comprehensive eye exam. Ideal Vision is where quality meets affordability from an on-site optical laboratory making same-day eyeglasses available to hundreds of designer frames from the brands you want, all with the lowest prices guaranteed. We are here for you and your family's vision needs. Call or stop in today at Ideal Vision. You'll be glad you did. Need something fixed? Think Latour Hardware and Garden Center, your best bet for reliable and lasting repairs. For over 30 years, Latour has been the expert in small engine repairs, lawnmower repairs, blade sharpening, screen and window repair, glass cutting, generator maintenance, and power tool repairs. Latour services all major brands, and whether you visit the store or take advantage of Latour's pickup and delivery service, you'll know your job is being done right. Think hardware. Think Latour Hardware and Garden Center. Come on in and get started. Do you have all your ducks in a row? Ensuring those possessions which are important to you will give you peace of mind. Hi, I'm George Castellini, president of Beyond the Insurance Agency. We've been serving our community since 1973. I invite you to come down, meet our friendly staff for all your insurance needs. The staff at Beyond the Insurance is knowledgeable and friendly. All it takes is a telephone call. We'll help you get your ducks in a row. Call George Castellini or one of the professionals at Beyond the Insurance Agency. At the end of the day, you'll be glad you did. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Around South Jersey. I have two special guests today. One I've known all of her life. That's my daughter, <laughs> Kelly. And next to her is a young man who played third base for Millville High School baseball team and center field, but it's not Mike Trout. It's <laughs> Eric Martinez. How are you guys? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Well, you know, you did tell me you had Jeff Trout as your coach. Yeah, right? yeah. He's my coach, yeah. coach. And, yeah, I saw Mike. He was very... He was like eight years old when I was around. I'm a little bit older. Yeah. So. <laughs> when I first met Mike, he was five. So yeah. Yeah, I'm even older. But it was also we were talking about Eric grew up in Millville, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised. And he played on the Hal Hardware Little League team <laughs> Little League, in the National yeah. Little League. And uh, I was asking him who the coach was, and I realized it was Greg Erber. Yeah. He's the owner of Hal's Hardware. So what happened after you got out of high school? What did you do? So uh, out of high school, um, I actually stayed in Jersey. I went to uh, Princeton University. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Mr. Brainiac. <laughs> oh, really? I'm impressed. You know, who's, you know who's at Princeton now? Who's the there now? football coach? The football coach. Oh, uh, uh, Sarace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob Sarace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think his son went, too, um, before I got there. Because when I, when I was yeah, admitted, well, he, he that's actually... That's the one. It's the coach. Yeah. It's Bob who went there. He's now the coach of... Uh, Oh. Tony's the dad. Bob. Yeah, so yeah, Tony called yeah. me into his office actually when I got admitted, and he told me about Bob and all that. Yeah, that's so, right. Bob yeah. went there now. He's yeah. coaching there and all that small world. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So how did you know this beautiful lady? Where did well, you get to know Kelly? Yeah. She was the year before me in high school. <laughs> we went to high school together. What you? Um, you were older. Yeah, a year yeah. older. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yep. You're ahead of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. That's and right. we did drama, class, yeah, did you? and music. Yeah. What music did choir you? Choir and a choir. Yeah. Did you sing? Yeah. Jeez, talented baseball player and a singer <laughs> both, huh? <laughs> so, uh, Kelly, uh, tell our audience what you do. 
So I'm the owner of Quintessential Massage Therapy, excuse me, Quintessential Holistic Massage Therapy, and um, we, I'm located in Millville, New Jersey. And what do you do there? Um, so the um, premise is with a holistic massage is a little bit different than traditional massage. I really approach the mind, body, spirit aspect when I meet my clients. I love to do two hour sessions, which is my signature experience, which Eric has tried. And um, I really feel like the body can go and the mind can go and the spirit goes deeper when you're in a longer session. And so I incorporate energy work into my massages as well and aromatherapy, hot towels, and you'll also be lying on an amethyst biomat that has infrared heat in it. The amethyst has 25 pounds of crushed amethyst throughout, puts the brain into a really relaxed meditative state. And the infrared heat helps to detoxify, helps with pain relief, and overall just makes you feel amazing. It also burns calories <laughs> and makes you really hungry, right? Yeah, yeah, I can speak to this. So um, <laughs> I actually went to see Kelly yesterday, and uh, it is an experience. Legitimately, it is an experience. It's not, you're not just going to, to a spa or something and, and getting you know, a massage treatment. You're getting so much more, as, as Kelly said. And, and yeah, it was, it was phenomenal, and it did make me very hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, can, I can attest. It definitely had to burn some calories because I was, I was pretty hungry afterwards. Rejuvenation and, and feeding time. Here. Well, I got to tell you, you've already got a lot of people watching. One of them, Kelly, is Brad Burge, who I know you oh, nice. like very much. And baseball. And then you got your mother's watching, your brother's watching, your sister-in-law's watching. My friend Sam Pipitone is watching. Sam, nice to have you with us. And beautiful Chrissy Riley is watching. And Chrissy and I serve on the Complete Care Foundation board together. And she comes from an amazing family. Celeste Riley is the county clerk, is her sisters so it's nice to have all nice. of you with us early Hi, on so the interesting thing i have to tell you this story i volunteered for m25 one evening and i met a woman who kelly knows and uh, we got talking and she had told me i think it was almost 10 years she was hooked on opioids because of pain and i, I understood and you know she told me where she went to get pain management and then she was able to switch over to medical marijuana and cbd and then i started talking to other people and CBD is like amazing. Tell us a little bit about what that does. I mean, it just sounds like it's almost too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, and I, I hear that a lot too when I talk to people because it has such a broad therapeutic range. It almost sounds like it is too good to be true. So uh, a little bit about CBD and, and what it is. It stands for cannabidiol, and it is derived from hemp. So that's, that's the first thing that we need to make clear. Right. It's, it's from hemp, it's not, it's not from marijuana. The great thing about CBD is you can get a lot of the benefit from, from cannabinoids, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment, uh, without any type of psychoactive effect. So there's no high at all right. associated with using CBD. And the way that it works in our body, it's really interesting because you don't hear a lot about it. We actually, all mammals, if you, <laughs> all mammals, if you have a spine, you have this. It's what's called an endocannabinoid system. So this was discovered actually in the early 90s. It's been around for a long time. It's just not really talked about very often and it's not taught in medical schools yet, but we're, we're, we're getting uh -huh. there. But essentially it's another system in our body. We have these receptors, they're called CB1 and CB2 receptors. They're located in every part of our body. There's a big concentration in our brain, it's in our guts, it's everywhere. And when we give our body the cannabinoids to stimulate those receptors, what it actually does is it helps our body's other systems talk to one another. So it promotes homeostasis in our body. So that's why when people will say, it helped me with this, this thing over here, but it also helped me with this thing over oh, here, wow. it has a systemic effect on our bodies. That is interesting, it really is. Now, it seems to be, is it help, obviously with pain, because this woman that was telling me her problems had severe back pain, and it also helps with stress, I mean, I guess it seems to be amazing what it can do. Right, there really, there really is a, a, a broad range of benefit again because it touches all of those systems in our body. Hmm. And and uh, Kelly, I remember you talking to me about it, and, and I had said it's C CBD oil, but there's other things as well. And you, I remember you mentioned about the gummies. Yeah, or there are other other delivery systems for CBD oil. It's not just an oil, even though it sounds like it would just be a tincture. Um, there are many um, options. There are things 
for dogs that, like you said, or anything that has a spine. I mean, there's a lot of Yeah, I understand systems. Nancy's been taking it. <laughs> yeah. She said she feels great. Family dog. The Maltese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She says she feels awesome. Yeah. Um, so, Her testimony is yeah. yeah, right. it's, it. it's a bunch of barking, but it, you can decipher it. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. So it helps with um, anything from chronic discomfort and on a physical level to um, nervousness to uh, elevating mood. It's just amazing for all sorts of different things. And he, like he said, you don't have to take it for one specific thing. It, it encompasses yeah, all. It, re it really is a, a truly a wellness product, an overall health hmm. you know, supplement. That's amazing. What, how did you get involved, Eric? Oh, so how I got involved is actually through my wife. Uh -huh. So um, my wife really, and she gave me permission to share this, so I'm not going to get in trouble. Uh, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but so th throughout her life, um, she she had struggle with you know worry and anxious mm -hmm, mind, sure. and, um, you know kind of dark thoughts and all of those things that that so many of us you know sure, sh struggle yes. with. Yeah. And she got treatment for it in very various you know stages of her life, and some more effective than others. And then as she, as she became an adult, she kind of tapered that stuff off for a little bit. But once we had our son, after he was born, that hormone dump happens, right? Yeah, and, and it came back uh, pretty strong. Wow. So she, she tried a couple of things. She actually had some bad reactions to some medication. Um, and then so she had to stop that. And then a, a year and a half later, we were about to have our second. And after uh, my daughter Lily was born, it started coming back again. So she started doing some research on what, what she can do to try and mitigate it. And of course, she knew that she could go back and try the various pharmaceuticals and, and give that a shot again, but she was worried about it because she had some rough experiences with those. So as she was going, I think it was through one of her, I think it was a Facebook mom's group, I think uh -huh. they were talking about CBD. So she said, okay, well, I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. You know, it's just this natural product, like can't hurt to try, so let, yeah. me, let me see what this is all about. So she found some that she felt was you know, trustworthy, gave it a shot, and within a couple of weeks, really started to see a benefit. So I'm watching this, and we've been together going on 16 years. So I've seen the ups and downs sure. that go yeah. along with, with the way she's, she's been feeling. So all of a sudden, she comes into my office, and she's telling me stories, or telling me about her day, and she's just up, and bright and like, sorry, I get like, <laughs> she's like dancing around the room and using words like, you know, joy and magic and wonderful. And so I'm looking at this and for me, it was like I was getting my wife back. Wow. And it was just so beautiful. So when I saw that, I said, I need to know what's going on here. Yeah. I need to look at this some more. So that's when I started looking at it for myself. And I don't have that same um, history uh, of the mental struggle. But I have other things just like anybody does, right? You know, these bothersome things that mm -hmm. I would love to, you know, take sure. care of. So I said, all right, I'm going to try it too. And then I started it. And one thing that I kind of chronically had to deal with was just the, the burning in your chest, you know, when you're eating food and all of that. Oh, okay. So I, I had that literally for six, seven years. Ooh, wow. Every day I had to take uh, an antacid or something before I ate dinner. I didn't want to eat dinner. So it was really, it was really tough. Um, I started taking the oil and about, I think, nine days into it, so I had a full week and a couple of days into it, I was uh, sitting down to dinner and I looked at my wife and I said, uh, her name's Becky, I said, Becky, um, I don't think I've taken an antacid in the past like six or seven days. Oh, wow. I was like, that's really, that's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm all on board. Too, huh? I'm um, all on board for this. So yeah, and there's a few other things that it's helped me with, but you know, that's, that's kind of how I was exposed to it and why I'm just kind of so, uh, passionate about it. Well, we're going to talk more about CBD oil and supplements and the, all the great things that happen with it right after we take time out for these messages. More than a century ago, General Tire was born right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible.
Do you have all your ducks in a row? Ensuring those possessions which are important to you will give you peace of mind. Hi, I'm George Castellini, president of Beyond the Insurance Agency. We've been serving our community since 1973. I invite you to come down, meet our friendly staff for all your insurance needs. The staff at Beyond the Insurance is knowledgeable and friendly. All it takes is a telephone call. We'll help you get your ducks in a row. Call George Castellini or one of the professionals at Beyond the Insurance Agency. At the end of the day, you'll be glad you did. Getting the right pair of glasses along with the quality eye care you deserve can be expensive, but not at Ideal Vision, where for a limited time, you can get a complete pair of glasses for just $49.95. And right now, that includes our comprehensive eye exam. Ideal Vision is where quality meets affordability from an on-site optical laboratory making same-day eyeglasses available to hundreds of designer frames from the brands you want, all with the lowest prices guaranteed. We are here for you and your family's vision needs. Call or stop in today at Ideal Vision. You'll be glad you did. At Mintz Insurance, we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community, local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance, or visit us at MintzInsurance.com. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties make damage to your business like it never even happened. Water in your business brings damage, mold, and stress. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties take the headache out of dealing with water. Serve Pro's team will come into your business and remove any trace of water. Strike back quickly before a little headache becomes a big problem. When damage strikes, strike back with Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties. At Toyota of Vineland, we have a huge selection of quality pre-owned vehicles inspected to give you peace of mind and offered at incredible values, starting as low as $49.95. Get top dollar for your trade. Plus, our Toyota certified vehicles come with a limited warranty and roadside assistance. At Toyota of Vineland, we strive to be the best dealership in town by taking care of what's really important, you. So come to Toyota of Vineland. We have the best cars and trucks you need at the price you want. Welcome back to Round South Jersey. Jim Quinn along with my daughter Kelly Quinn here and uh, Eric Martinez. And we're talking about CBD, the product, and how helpful it's been for so many people. But Kelly, you've really been in the holistic field for quite a long time. Tell us about your background and what got you into it. Sure. Actually, in 1996, we uh, went on a family vacation to California. And my dad and my brother went to a baseball game. And my mom and I went to uh, an aromatherapy um, store, and that was my first experience and exposure to um, the idea that an aromatherapeutic essential oil could help with ailments, anything, overall well-being. So the long, flowy skirt lady kind of, you know, big earrings kind of came out in the 90s. That was kind of the thing, too. Um, and exactly what you think of in the California kind of style. And <laughs> she said, how can I help you? And so I told her some of the things that I experienced at the time I was playing softball. So I would get some um, headaches and some tension in my neck. And um, she kind of guided me to the perfect aromatherapy essential oil for what I was experiencing. And I put it in my backpack. We went back to New Jersey and I went to school the following week. And the star quarterback of our football team that year, big guy, in algebra class said, I have a headache. And I said, you want to try this oil? <laughs> and he's like, I was thinking more along the lines of an uh, uh, you know, anti-inflammatory. And I was like, just try it. It smells good. And so he did. He put it on his temples and he put it on the points that she told me to have, you know, to apply it. And within 20 minutes, the headache went away. And I was like, okay, there's something to this, you know? And so that was my first introduction to um, seeing how plants and herbs and things that were from nature could really truly help us. And so since 96, I have been on a mission to live as naturally as possible for myself. 
I um, don't go to medical doctors. I do everything that I possibly can to manage anything that comes up for me naturally. So in the mid 2000s, like 2005, 2006 and 2008, I was rear-ended three times in Florida. And um, it caused a lot of experience of discomfort in my low back and I would have a lot of issues um, bending over, which when you're a massage therapist, which I have been for 16 years, it really puts a damper on your career. And I was very scared that I was gonna have to leave my profession altogether. Hmm. I had a client who my dad actually referenced in the beginning, who was on a journey for her own um, well-being and health to leave Big Pharma behind and take direction in a way that was going to support her naturally. And so I watched her process as she went through being able to um, have a better quality of life. And I would see her come in and she would be very bright, she would be happy, she would have a lot less um, discomfort in her own back. And so one day she recommended that I try the CBD oil and I was very resistant to it. I thought that it was going to make me feel weird. I didn't really understand it. So I kind of put it on the shelf and I had a family member who experiences severe nerve pain and she ended up taking it and it worked. It helped her to dissolve a lot of the nerve pain that she was experiencing. And I still kept it on the shelf, still to the point where I would go to the grocery store and I would have to use a mark cart to go through the grocery store because after a day of working, I couldn't walk. It was, it was intense. And so I thought, well, let's try the CBD oil. Let's see what happens. And to my amazement, not only did it not have any uh, psychoactive effects on my mind or, or make me feel weird at all, it actually dissolved the discomfort in my low back that was so severe and that was three years ago. The quality of the discomfort has never returned to that intensity. So watching my client, um, she had almost been bedridden. She was so sick and in so much uh, discomfort physically. Um, her son was in high school. She was missing so much of what he was doing extracurricularly. And she um, started to be able to go to his swim meets again. She was able to travel from New Jersey to Florida to actually watch her senior uh, son in marching band, in Millville marching band, because they're amazing. <laughs> and uh, she was actually able to go and, and take video of him walking down Main Street USA in Disney, thanks to CBD oil and some other natural things that she did. And while I was watching the video of her watching her son for his senior year, I just, I, I lost it. <laughs> I just had tears in my eyes because I've had my own experience with it now. I'm able to stay in my profession that I love. She's having her experience, my family members. I, this has gone, you know, now to the point where I'm just, I, I need to let the world know how much it helped me and my loved ones. Well, certainly a good testimonial. And we have lots of people that are joining us too. Margie Holman, Nelson Allen, Lucille Renee. Uh, Mary Lynn Dorella La Cavera, Julie Trevorelli Pasito makes some great wings. Oh my God. Just, <laughs> you know BJ Roasters? And yeah, Mary? yeah. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. And uh, Mike Dacey, Mike, nice to have you with us as well. And I guess we'll get into the questions about his CBD legal and things like that and you, all those things right after we take time out for these messages. My guests today are Eric Martinez and Kelly Quinn, who are both very uh, knowledgeable about the CBD pro products, and we'll be back with more in just a moment. At Complete Care, we are patients serving patients. I choose to bring myself and my children to Complete Care because we are a one-stop shop. We use dental, we use medical. I feel as though the quality of care here is great. I love working here. I feel great to work at a place that serves the community. There's a lot of people in need. To me, patients serving patients means we've been in your shoes. We know what great care means to us, and we want to provide that for you. Need something fixed? Think Latour Hardware and Garden Center, your best bet for reliable and lasting repairs. 
For over 30 years, Latour has been the expert in small engine repairs, lawnmower repairs, blade sharpening, screen and window repair, glass cutting, generator maintenance, and power tool repairs. Latour services all major brands, and whether you visit the store or take advantage of Latour's pickup and delivery service, you'll know your job is being done right. Think hardware, think Latour Hardware and Garden Center. Come on in and get started. Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content. Starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together. Welcome back to Around South Jersey. My guests are my daughter Kelly Quinn here and Eric Martinez. And uh, Eric is a very bright man. He went to Princeton. <laughs> I'm impressed very much with that. And, uh, you know, Eric, it's interesting. I think people would wonder, and I think you sort of alluded to it a little bit, but tell everybody the difference between marijuana and hemp. Yeah, no, this is good because I feel like this comes up a lot. Right, everyone thinks that like your experience, right? You were concerned it's gonna make me feel funny. Am I gonna get high from it? Because everybody thinks that marijuana is what it's come from, and really, it's it's two strains of cannabis. So yes, marijuana and hemp are both cannabis, but they're they're very different in the way that they're grown and in the way that um, CBD is pulled from it. So the, the way the way to think about the difference is so say. Um, Oranges and lemons, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that they're both citrus, right. but you're sure not going to stick a glass of lemon juice next to your breakfast, right? right. You know the difference. Yeah. So it's very, it's very different in practice. So the way that hemp is grown, it's actually grown very close together. It's encouraged to be tall and stocky, and it's actually harvested before it flowers. And marijuana, obviously, grown far apart, encouraged to be very bushy and as many flowers as possible. And what that does is in marijuana, it creates a product that is really, really high THC. And the THC is what makes your mind float, and that's what, that's, that's what what's creates the high. With the hemp, it's very high CBD, very, very low THC. So you're not going to get any of that psychoactive effect from a hemp-derived CBD oil. It's, uh, I got to tell you a funny story. When, and of course, right now, in many states, uh, marijuana is legal. Medical, well, right. medical marijuana in New Jersey is legal, but in many states, I think there's seven or eight, including Washington, D.C., marijuana itself is legal. Right. And they're going to have a vote in New Jersey in 2020 to see if the voters want to legalize it. But I, one of my best friends was the mayor of Vinyl, Bobby Romano, and he used to be a police officer. And this is 10 years ago. I said, Bobby, what do you think about legalizing marijuana? He said, Jim, I don't know. He said, but I'll tell you what, if they legalize marijuana, I'm buying stock in Frito Lay. <laughs> Somebody else said to me, Tasty Cake. Somebody else I said that to me, they said, Tasty Cake as well. So, and, and it'd be interesting. I guess that goes along with the munchies. Or whatever. <laughs> you won't get that from CBD, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe my massages. Yeah, just <laughs> right. massages. Yeah. Right. So that's a good time to talk about the um, industry. Oh, yeah. I mean, so... But I, your friend is, is on to is something. legal, right? So, yeah. So, that, that, so that's another good point, yeah. too. Just it, it, You were talking about um, marijuana being passed recreationally in certain states, right. the legality of it. But the good thing about CBD, it's a hemp-derived product. So actually, in 2014, the Farm Bill in 2014 allowed for a limited cultivation of hemp. It started in Kentucky and Colorado and a few other states. Uh -huh. And that sort of paved the way for it. And then in 2018, the Farm Bill completely removed hemp from the Schedule One drug. So anything derived from hemp now is 100% legal, as long as it falls within a range of 0.3% or less of THC. I see. And any reputable oil that you're going to get is going to fall within that range. So there's no, but it's interesting, as you were talking about for people that maybe suffer depression, it lifts their spirits some, I guess, in, in a good way. Uh, but I mean, it, I guess it, you know, there's the, I guess that's where the cutoff comes in, where it's a little bit of mood swing or helps a little bit? Yeah, I mean, uh, CBD definitely promotes uh, balance and, uh, you know, mood stabilization, for sure. Well, we did talk about it being legal. The other thing was when people try CBD oil, well, they feel that high. You said they won't, right? No. Not like the marijuana high. Yeah. That but was you, my fear. And but I you get a, nope. a good feeling from it as well. Now, 
Um, it's like a sigh of relief, you know? It just, it just kind of takes it down a notch, but it, you don't feel altered right. is the best way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. So anyone that's in a career where they would have to be drug tested, this is not a problem. It's so it depends on what you take. Uh -huh. So if you, if you take a full spectrum oil, it is gonna have that minute amount of THC in it, uh -huh. which may or may not, depending on the test that you take, show up on a drug test. Mm -hmm. However, there is a whole line of isolate products where it's just the CBD and no THC. And in that case, I, if I was in one of those industries, I would probably point someone toward the isolate so that way they don't have that concern. I see. So there are different levels of the CBD? Right. And the isolate is the one without the hemp? Or it, without the, the THC, THC part. right. Yeah. But there are full spectrum products that include that up to 0.3%. So again, it's still very small, but it could show on, on a drug test if it was looking for it. I see. And you know, I, obviously, the the one person that I know, she has medical marijuana and CBD. Is that common? Do you think? Does yeah, that happen a lot. Yeah, I think it's pretty common that people who are using uh, traditional marijuana can also benefit from taking CBD. Mm -hmm. Again, because the content of, of cannabinoids that they're getting from marijuana is different than the content they're going to get from a CBD product, particularly the CBD the CBD amount that they're getting from traditional marijuana. They're going to get very low very low CBD, very high THC. And THC has its own um, kind of range of benefits, but it also has some drawbacks where people kind of report, you know, their nerves get a little mm -hmm. shaky or again, the munchies you talked yeah. about, right? So that there, there are some drawbacks to using that that don't, um, are, aren't associated with CBD as well. Well, I've got to believe too, and of course, New Jersey is a medical marijuana state, and I've got to believe that the growing, it's controlled, it's a good product, you know, because it's under state regulations. So they're not, I mean, I don't know what types of uh, marijuana there are, but when, whatever the best type is, as far as quality, this is, I'm sure, what you're getting from the dispensaries. Right. And that, that actually lends to a, a good a good point. In the, in the CBD industry, it's, it is growing super rapidly. Um, I mean, Forbes has talked about it. They're, they're projecting it's going to be a $22 billion industry within the next couple of years. Wow. So this is, this is really big. You know, it's like bigger than the NFL. It is, it's going to be huge. So uh, with that, there are a lot of new players in the game. And everyone should really be mindful when they're shopping for CBD on understanding the product that they're getting and that they're getting it from a repu uh, reputable source. Uh -huh. So um, a, a couple of things really to look for in a good CBD uh, one would be minimal ingredients. So just the carrier oil, if it's a hemp oil, is probably best. Uh, the CBD, and then maybe a flavor if you want one. I see. Other than that, you shouldn't have any other junk in it. You know, you shouldn't right. see any preservatives or fillers or anything like that. The other big thing is third-party testing. So whoever is producing the, the CBD product that you're looking to purchase, make sure you can get to the documentation that shows that they're sending their batches to an outside entity to confirm that they're free of toxins, that they actually contain what they say that they contain, because that's a big deal in the industry too. And I think if you do those, those two things, you're, you're probably well positioned to get a, a high quality product. Yeah, Eric's absolutely right. Not all CBD is created equal. Yeah. Um, I found that out in my own experience, just trying different things for myself and my loved ones trying different things. Um, everyone's body is different too. So as, even if you are adhering to like the purity level, um, you can, you know, you can experience a different level of overall health and well-being from it depending on your own chemistry. So that's why um, when I found a company that actually had a 60-day money-back empty bottle guarantee, I went with that because we actually trial and errored a lot mm -hmm. of different CBD oils um, to find the right one. And some would take away uh, some nerve discomfort instantly within seconds and others, even though it was very expensive, didn't touch it. So that's a really important um, thing to indicate. And what, Eric, if I may ask, what is the CBD a product that you would encourage people to, to purchase, I guess? So I think most people should start with the tincture, with the oil. Okay. I think, it's, I think it helps uh, the, the overall um, case, you, case is better. So you just take the eyedropper that in your mouth and yeah. swallow yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So you take it sublingually. Um, and if you, if you take a look at this, um, do a little research, uh, sublingual delivery is, uh, it has high 
uh, a high absorption rate. So all you do is you take a little dropper, you put it under your tongue, you hold it for around 60 seconds, and then you just swallow the rest. And we have these glands under our tongue that absorbs anything that it touches, so oh. it's, it's the easiest way. It gets, it gets into your system very quickly that way. 98% yeah. absorption rate. Yeah. Well, and if, I mean, like with the gummies, you chew those like a candy, Kelly? Is that how that works? Um, yeah. In a gummy bear, gummy-flavored delivery system, yes, you chew them and swallow them. That's probably not as quick as the oils. Yeah, ingesting is a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. It's just a different delivery system. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's all sorts of... Do they of... taste good? Are they like gummy <laughs> um, Yeah, and, and the one, the tincture that I have has peppermint um, flavoring in it, and that tastes amazing. Your wife takes cinnamon, right? Yeah, she likes the cinnamon. I, I think the cinnamon's a little little intense. It's kind of like a red hot candy, you know? Like you really taste you the cinnamon. You wouldn't be good with that. So for some people, That's they love right. it. My <laughs> wife likes it. For me, I'm just like, give me the peppermint, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and then they have natural too. So natural's good because then you can put it on topically or take it internally. Yeah, I see. So then putting it on topically, that's another thing we haven't talked about, but you can actually, like, I guess if you elbow hurt, you could rub it on your elbow. Or, you sure, know. yeah. So any of the oils you can use topically, and that's fine. You can also get products that are infused with the CBD in a cream. So there are a number of, um, of creams that you can use. Again, if you, if you have that discomfort in your elbow, you can rub the cream directly on that. There, there are different lines of um, face creams, anti-aging and um, you know, moisturizers and, and things like that. So um, one of my favorite things right now is actually bath bombs, CBD um, infused bath bombs. Really? Where you can put them right in your bathtub oh. and then just take a 20 minute bath and you get the benefit wow. of the CBD over you know, everything you know, yeah. that touches your skin. So yeah. oh, that's really neat. Yeah. That is very interesting. Plus, I got to tell you, sometime or another, you got to watch this man's YouTube. Tell them about <laughs> your YouTube yes. video. It's, it's great. Yeah, so um, I, have a, I have a YouTube channel. It's just under my name, Eric Martinez, if you want to check it out. But um, I have a few things on there, some testimonials and things. But the thing that um, I think that you're referring to is I made a music video um, about how CBD works and how it, how it regulates. That's a little hint for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, one of the things um, that we wanted to talk about, too, is how can people that are watching, uh, I guess they can, Kelly, do you have some available at your uh, location um so it's not in a in a um retail right now okay. for my specific space oh. but i can direct people to um a link that's my personal link that they can go to and and what link is that um it's going to be through quinn q u i n n dot massage therapy dot com and you'll see the uh link on the side of the box where it says CBD oil and you click on that and it takes you right to the site. Okay, and Eric, how do you, they get a hold of the stuff through you? How sure, you yeah, you? so I, I have a website. It's just cbderic.com. You are the man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Eric with a C, not a K. Uh, yeah, Eric with a C, very yeah. important. Okay. Yeah, and then of course, you know, anyone can reach out to me on Facebook too. I, I love to educate people, I love to talk about it, I love to hear their testimonials, um, so we can do it that way too. Tell us some of the testimonials. You've got to have some really great stories. Oh my gosh! That. Yeah, yeah. And that you talked about what it's been for your wife. But. Yeah. So, so that that's my personal one. Um, another personal one actually is is for my dog. Um, okay. So you and Nancy too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So my dog, her name is Samantha, um, and she is a, a mutt of all mutts. Uh, we don't even know where she is, but um, she was she, she, she's she's a nervous dog. Um, Someone would come to the door, you know, the mail person, or we get something uh, delivered, a package. Someone would knock on the door, and she would just go into full attack mode and you know bark and do all the crazy snarling stuff until they went away. Um, and it's it's hard to train that out of her because you know she wins every time they go away. So <laughs> she, so she keeps doing it. Yeah. So um, and she's also not great with other dogs. So we decided we were gonna you know give it, give CBD a shot. Um, we actually got some CBD infused dog treats. Oh, and, that's good. and there's an oil actually that uh, it's bacon flavored. So, oh wow! Uh, so, I'd like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we can start marketing that to humans. Yeah. But, uh, so, so we gave her that, and I, I noticed two things that happened uh, with her. One day, um, our mail person came to the door and actually rang the doorbell because we had a package. And again, normally she's you know murder, death, kill. She's crazy when that when that happens. Uh, but this time, she just kind of looked up whined a little bit and looked at me like, hey, is everything okay? She was worried, but she wasn't crazy. Mm. And that was my first like, hmm, okay, we're getting somewhere um, with you with the CBD. 
And another thing that happened is um, in my house, our backyards abut with our neighbors. And our neighbors in the backyard, they have two really, really big dogs. And uh, my dog does not like them at all. They, if, if they go out there at the same time, they're going to fence fight and it's not good. So one day um, we were all outside and we didn't notice that the other dogs came out into the yard. And my dog was running around and just playing. And then she just looked up and she just looked at the other dog be like, all right, you stay over there. And then she just came back to us. So I said, okay, you know, you're, you're really getting a benefit from this. So yeah, it's, it, that's, it's, it's for our little fur babies too. That's funny. <laughs> I was just with a, a woman recently and they were talking about her dog her, her dogs and the neighbor's dogs and all that kind of stuff. Maybe they all need that to right, see yeah. for the dogs. So they're sleeping the treats on the other side of the right, fence or yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> Give them the bacon treats and they'll be good. Anything we're, with a spine. That's, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. We're talking with Eric Martinez and Kelly Quinn here about CBD oil. When we come back, I want to know where is it grown and are we going to get more, like we have a lot of marijuana dispensaries that are being uh, proposed for vinyl in Millville, but I don't know where they grow this uh, hemp. So we'll be back to ask Eric about that right after these messages. Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content, starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. To me, patient serving patients means that I know how I want to be treated when I walk in the door, and I expect everyone else to be treated the same way when they walk in the door. I've been a patient at Complete Care for about five years. Getting my primary care here at Complete Care means that it's convenient, it's accessible, I have a knowledgeable provider who takes good care of me in a very thorough and efficient way. Working here and knowing that we have people who are treating patients and serving patients makes me feel good both as a person, as an employee, and as a member of the greater community. Because at Complete Care, we are patients serving patients. Welcome back to Around South Jersey, Jim Quinn, along with Kelly Quinn here, some young lady I've known for all of her life, and Eric Martinez, who is a very sharp, bright man. Eric, what, tell everybody what you do for your full-time job. Uh, so I work in, in healthcare and finance and uh, accounts receivables. That's day. good. Yeah. Is everybody paying? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough, tough uh, thing, but I'm glad you're, you're doing it. And he lives in Maryland, and he came all the way I here know, to be sure. on your right. show yeah. because yeah. he believes that much in CBD right. oil, and yeah. that, that's good commitment. Well, it's great to have you because I've learned a lot from you about it, and certainly, um, you know, it, it has lots of benefit. I guess the one thing, in Vineland, they are currently uh, have a building that they're going to be growing medical marijuana. And in Millville, they're looking at the old Law Brothers building, a company to buy that to grow medical marijuana. But I was saying, I've got 20 acres of land here. Instead of growing soybeans, maybe I could grow hemp. <laughs> hemp. Hemp's got to be worth more than soybeans, I would think. Yeah, yeah. But, but you said it's grown now. The, the product you have comes from Kentucky? Yeah, the farm is in uh, Kentucky. Uh -huh. And uh, they, they've been in the game for a while now. As I mentioned, you know, in 2014, Kentucky was right. one of the first places that actually really started cultivating hemp. I see. And uh, this, this farm that we're partnered with is actually an FDA-compliant farm. They, they provide all of the testing um, uh, they make sure that the soil is free from heavy metals and all of that. So this is a very reputable place uh, yeah. that they have gone there. Yeah. And that's really important. I really want people to hear that, you know, that this, you really want to find, because there's tons out there now, right? Right. Like, and in anything, um, you know, for me, I knew with supplements, like some supplements they would say with St. John's wort, but then they would just take like, the stem of it and call it St. John's word because that was part of the plant. Well, you may need the, you know, what you may need the flowers. So you just really want to be careful 
when you're choosing a CBD oil to get it from a reputable source, right. which is the other reason that we wanted to come and share this with you today because we know one. Yeah, and it's, 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 it, it, it's the Wild West right now, right? Mm -hmm. like it's, yeah, growing, it's growing so yeah. fast and, you, and it's, it, it's a self-regulated industry right now until the FDA figures out what they want to do with That's it. Right. But um, another thing to look out for if you can is because it's self-regulated, there's actually this entity called the, the U.S. Hemp Authority. And they have this round table that they reviewed all of the CBD producers that were present in the last couple of years. And they actually awarded 13 companies a safety seal from the U.S. Hemp Authority. That's good. And that, that just demonstrates you know, a commitment to quality. Um, again, that it says what is in the bottle is what's actually right. in the bottle. And um, so if you can see that too when, when you're shopping around, that, that's helpful too. Now, getting back to placing orders uh, they go on your website, Kelly. Right? Yes, Quinn, Q U I N N dot massage therapy dot com, and you'll find the link for CBD oil. And Eric, they yeah. go to, to your YouTube and see the great show. <laughs> they can go to YouTube and see the video. You, uh, you can go to uh, cbderic.com right, to right. see to see the products uh, directly. Eric with a C is in Eric CBD. C. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Eric with a C is in CBD. Yeah. CBD oil. <laughs> dot com. You know. you use Wait. that now. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Marketing for you. <laughs> you know, it really almost seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Isn't I know, it and it's wonderful? great. And it's, I mean, every day I, I get a story back from someone tell, selling, telling me how it's affecting and improving their, their lives. It's just, it's incredible. You know? What's one of the most wonderful stories you've had? Oh my right? gosh, I mean, there, there are so many. I mean, I just got one um, yesterday where it was a friend of mine's mother who had um, you know, really tough, tough issues with her knees and started the oil and within seven days she said she said in the first three days it was 50 percent better and then the next week it was 75 percent better wow. so we're in that stage right now so i want to talk to her in two weeks and see if she's 100 percent. but you know she's seeing a huge improvement in her mobility um I literally five minutes before we walked into this room a friend of mine sent me a message and said Every day he wakes up in the morning and has terrible uneasiness and worry. And he just started the oil yesterday and he said this morning he didn't have that feeling. Wow. So it's just the, the quality of life stories that we're getting from people are incredible. We, that is interesting. You're talking about physical and mental. Good, right. Good things to help your mind and help your body as well. So, wow. That's right. almost, you know, he doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> right. You know, and it's fact, it's interesting. My friend Joe is having knee problems. I should suggest to him maybe to look into getting some CBD oil. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and tell him that we have a 60 day money back guarantee <laughs> right. bottle because that was a big deal for me to, to be, be able to try something, see if it worked for me and not have to shell out the cash and maybe and it did, maybe it didn't. Kelly, speaking is about spelling out the cash, it's $69. Is that what the first round is the flagship right? product yeah flagship yeah, product that's is, where that's where a lot of them is that 69 dollars a yeah. month uh it depends so okay. the bottle is going to last anywhere between one and three months it I depends on your personal okay. usage All right. and it's different for everybody it's interesting it's not necessarily tied to just how big you are um, there's yeah. more to it because everybody's body like kelly was um, mentioning earlier reacts differently to it so it could be a really big guy who only needs a few drops and maybe this petite woman you know needs half a dropper to, to feel the benefits so you just have to find your personal sweet spot boy this is interesting michelle richards just said it has done wonders for her mother's arthritis and i didn't even think about that thank you michelle for that comment susan welsh thanks for watching michelle um your friend michelle richards yeah. is watching us as well <laughs> and uh it, that I'd never thought about that for joint arthritis. discomfort is definitely yeah. Yeah, a yeah. Joint, joint issues is is one of the one of the main things that people report. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I fortunately not we're not having those problems, but I know friends that have arthritis or you know I don't know about rheumatism or whatever. But you know, I, I wonder if they've done studies with that for like. Um, so, so the best disease. thing for people to do yeah. is to, if you are <laughs> wondering if maybe this would work for you, oh. is to go to Google because they have so many articles at this point for anything and everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. Type in whatever you may be experiencing and then type in CBD oil. Right, yeah, it's CBD plus whatever thing and yeah, you'll be pleasantly surprised with everything wow. that you'll find. It's crazy. So yeah, you can, you know, GTS, right? You can Google that stuff. Um, oh, or GTS. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you could also, you could also go to pubmed.gov, which is literally the National Institute of Health website where it houses 
all of these studies wow. and you can just look for CBD. Um, it's a little more academic, so you have to kind of like uh, dig through it a bit to mm -hmm. find what you want, but you can find it there as well. Wow. Well, you know, when you think about the, it's a wonderful uh, supplement to take and you don't, and I know a lot of people and maybe rightfully so need the medical marijuana along with this, but it sounds like this is doing very well for people without even having to worry about getting on the medical marijuana. Right. But it's, it's neat because it's the hemp part of the plant that right. is what makes it and it doesn't give you delusions. Or, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. And you yeah. can still drive. Yeah. Well, it's, we, it's funny. One of my police officer friends we were talking about people driving on marijuana and he said, Jim, I know they'll stop a half a block before the red light. They're very cautious. <laughs> so they're not racing around. And all that stuff. Said, okay, I got you. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, it's, uh, but I mean, this is just unbelievable. But yeah. you know, Eric, people, before you leave us or after the show's over, you got to go and Google Eric Eric CBD, is it CBD Eric? CBD Eric is the website, so, so oh, cbderic.com. Yeah, but I wanted them to see your uh, the video. YouTube. The video, though, you can either find me on Facebook, uh, okay. that's one way, or my YouTube uh, channel, which is just my name, Eric Martinez. It's probably, I probably need to change that a little bit because I'm probably not the only one out there. <laughs> so <laughs> That's a pretty popular name. But, but yeah, 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 it's not the rarest name in the world. No, it's but. Not. <laughs> Type in CBD and Eric Martinez. Yeah, yeah so you'll probably find it that way. Oh, right. That's good. Did but you that, name the video, Regulate? Um, I can't remember what it's yeah, called on YouTube. Yeah. But, yeah, they'll find it. Yeah. Otherwise, That's the contact us here. Yeah. I'm sitting at Ryan's house, my son's house, and we got to see your uh, your YouTube video. It's really great. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, I was impressed. I, don't, I guess maybe we're going to be able to put some of that in in the post production. I think so. Yeah. We're doing, we're doing yeah. Equal this parts live. amusing and. But, yeah. And educational. educational. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's right. a good yeah. dad. <laughs> when the show is over, go and Google Eric Martinez CBD. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, on YouTube or whatever you can see it. But I had another testimony I wanted to share too. Oh, yeah. um, my husband actually dropped a bed on his toe on accident, mm. moving it, mm. and um, he had been taking you know some over-the-counter stuff to kind of try to help to, with the swelling. And it wasn't until um, later that night that I thought, oh, <laughs> how about CBD oil? <laughs> and um, so um, he actually took it internally. Oh, wow. He took it internally, um, did not put it on the toe directly because it was actually like so black and blue and there's some blood, blood. You don't want to put it directly on like an open wound. I see. Um, and so he did and he actually helped him fall asleep and the throbbing ceased. So it was, awesome. yeah, it was, it was amazing. He's that's like, great. Oh, that's mm. pretty great. <laughs> yeah. So lots and lots of testimonials like that too. Yeah. But see now, Eric, as great a shape you're in, I can't believe you even need anything. Well, how did well, you get there? So here's the thing, right? So if you if you would have had this conversation with me six months ago, you might feel differently. So I've actually um, I've lost 30 pounds since okay. the beginning of the year. That helps you lose weight. Too? Yeah. So I, I, I'm not going to say that it directly helps you lose weight, but for me, what it did was it it improved my focus mm. and and my drive. So it just, it just helped me when I wasn't really feeling up to making the right choices with food or getting up in the morning and going to the gym and doing those things. I feel like it kind of gave me that little bit of a push to be able to accomplish those things. Oh, that's great. Well, you look good. It's Thank looking you. well for you. I man. appreciate that. <laughs> uh, it's really neat to come. And it's nice having you back in the area for a little bit. I know that Frederick, Maryland's about three hours yeah, away. Yeah, about three hours away. It's yeah. a nice area too. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit more about your wife and children. Yeah, yeah, my wife Becky, um, we've been together going on 16 years, uh, as I mentioned. Until um, you met her in Princeton, right? Yeah, yeah, she grew up in the town of Princeton. So, Beautiful community. Yeah, when I was kind of, uh, I had a, a job with the local Y, actually, and uh, I met a friend there who introduced me to my wife. Um, you know, and the rest of his history oh, with that. Super. But uh, yeah, we have two uh, beautiful kids. Uh, my son Ian is going to be um, four, actually, in a couple of days. Uh, and then my daughter Lily will be two in November. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. We, we get Ian and Bubba together and they can have a boxing match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Bubba, that's my, my grandson, my, my four year old. Nice. Yeah. Nephew, yeah. He's a tough, rough and tumble kid. Yeah, he? yeah, and they and are at that high energy. Yeah. <laughs> and your wife has another business, right? She does, yeah, yeah. She she has a clothing business. Um, oh, really? I don't know if you've heard of Lularo, but that's what she does. She sells clothes and does a lot of online marketing and everything uh -huh. uh, as well. So she's been doing that for um, women's clothes, going on three years. Yeah, they have a little bit of men's clothes too, uh -huh. but mostly mostly for women. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Really so, good for back to school. So check out. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> you can hit me up for that, and I'll, yeah. I'll give you the contact information for her too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. It, BJ Rossi said yes. That's what I. Met more focus. It, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Mom, more focus. Sheila Roselle, nice to have you with us as well. 
Susan Welsh, nice to have you watching. And uh, of course, we want to remind you that when this program is over, you can go to Kelly's website. Uh, Quinn.massagetherapy.com and you can find the link for CBD oil and all of my other services. And this guy's easy to find. Just yeah, mine just cbderic.com. CBD, Eric with a C. Dot with a C. Com, yeah. you, know, and, uh, <laughs> you can find out whatever you want to, uh, to do. But it's, it, it's interesting, though, because I'm suspecting, which from an economic development standpoint, I would love to see some hemp grown in, in Cumberland County. Yeah. You know, as I say, the medical marijuana is being grown and Vineland has a permit. I think Millville, they're, they're considering giving a permit to grow. Uh, there's a building they're looking at. And in Vineland, they're going to have a dispensary right on Delcy Drive. And mm -hmm. road. Currently, my friends that are on um, medical marijuana have to go to Belmar to get it. So that's about 35, 40 minutes away. Right. So, and I've, every one of them I've talked to on the medical marijuana side, I don't know how many of them do CBD. I just had a friend of mine who was on the other night who has medical marijuana for back problems. But right. I have to check with him on CBD. He'd be yeah. great because he could sell ice cubes desk. <laughs> He's very careful. Well, once you take it, yeah. I mean, that's it all the sell. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then he could tell people how great it is. Definitely. <laughs> He's, yeah, and, He's and tried it. And you, what you're intimating that too is that, you know, th there's a green rush happening, right? There is a yeah. movement happening yeah. in this direction. Well, it's and 22 billion, you said? Yeah, that's what Forbes estimated, <laughs> estimates it's going to be within the next couple of years, yeah. you know, which is amazing. And, you know, the reason why I decided to, um, to join the opportunity side right. of this is because I, I kind of saw the writing on the wall. And for me, you know, I, I wasn't going to buy a plot of land and sure. start, you know, yeah. growing hemp and all yeah. that, but this is a way that I could get a small piece of right. that $22 billion industry yeah. in the green rush that's happening. Yeah, and it's exciting to see where it's moving in the future. And you've heard what Eric and Kelly have said about their clients, the great success and family members and things like that have had with this. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And, and people you know, that have been on Facebook with me uh, have talked about their family members having it as well. And it was interesting because this was actually one of Kelly's clients. It was, I met her when we were done the M25 program. And she told me about the CBD and the medical marijuana and how she's no longer, you know, hooked on oxycodines that, you know, the, the big pharmacies, Kelly talking about pharma. And people are getting away from that, thank God, because that can lead to heroin and everything else. So it's really a, a great product, you know. Well, Eric, it's great to have you Thank up you. here. It's good yeah. to see yeah, you. Course, Kelly, to nice see you. to have you. I'll Thank see you, you sometime <laughs> soon. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll make your way up sometime right. once in a while. And we'll, we'll go to Teddy Lambert, Sideline Sports Bar, yeah. and I'll buy you a, a club soda. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, I guess that's a good point I didn't talk about. Can you mix CBD with alcohol? I mean, if you take it, if you drink, does it affect you at all? Well, it affects everyone differently. I so, see. yeah, I don't want to make it necessarily a recommendation uh -huh. there. Right. Uh, no, I understand. Yeah. That. Okay. So, I, I mean, I guess I would imagine. You'll feel so good, you won't even need alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> why I said club soda, ginger ale. Right, perfect. Yeah. That's We're perfect. Talking the right stuff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which works out very well. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, that's actually a couple of minutes fast. Mm -hmm. that, that yeah. Is as well. So, you did. You tell everybody where you had your class reunion. Speaking of sidelines, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we were at sidelines uh, last month. Yeah. Well, you nice. know what? Teddy Lambert does such a great job, and right now, the Millville Boys 13 to 50 year old World Series yeah. here in the World Series. Yeah, Bismarck, that. North Dakota. Can you imagine traveling out there? <laughs> One of the parents had to pay 900 and some bucks for a ticket because it was a last minute ticket to get out there. Wow. But the nice thing was, Teddy ran a fundraiser Friday, and for you know, he gave all the profit to the boys that are going out there. And he does that 25, 30 times a year as a way of giving back to the community. Thunderbolt Club has their thing. And he does a nice job for 25 bucks. He has a phenomenal uh, buffet. And then you get like dollar beers, dollar well drinks, things like that. So yeah. it's a, and it, it's really neat. I know we're packed Friday night, yeah. I'm told. You know, so yeah, that, that's nice that you were able to, to go there. But you know, it's interesting though. You said maybe a couple dozen 20, 30 people. It wasn't huge, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Kelly, you didn't have a huge one either, did no, you? No, yours was 20th, right? Yeah. Yeah. This year, yeah. yeah. Mine was yeah. last year, yeah. yeah. It was a pretty good turnout for what we had it at Luna's. It was nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not that many. Yeah, it's amazing. But that's what I was saying to him. I thought it was really interesting that the people that I actually didn't see since high school, I got to see them at the reunion thinking, oh, Facebook is not going to 
That's true. Make yeah. it, but I actually got to catch up with people that I hadn't seen yeah. in 20 years. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a very neat surprise. So you guys are still young enough to do Facebook. <laughs> I should say old enough to do it because right, older enough, people yeah, don't now. do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook's for the old people. Yeah. <laughs> We're still here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's informational and it's educational. I, I love Facebook. Yeah. I love the social media aspect of being able to share all these things because otherwise, you know, what would you have done in the 80s? Call people on the rotary <laughs> phone. And <laughs> right. And it's cool. You know, it allowed us to reconnect too. And here we are. And it's just like, exactly. You know, there's, there's a lot of benefit to it. You know? Oh my gosh. It's yeah. huge. Marcy Cantoni says, my girl Kelly Quinn here. She's there. Marcy. <laughs> Love her. Yeah. Yeah. Where's, where's our nun? What sister, what sister do you take care of? Can you tell? No. They can't. <laughs> right. Marcy spoke first. So okay. HIPAA laws, yeah, prevent. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm speaking of well, yeah, names, but, that's true. but she's, she's lovely. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's you one. knew her well. <laughs> Where did you go to grammar school? I'm sorry? Where did you go to grammar school? Oh, Rick. Brick Avenue. Yeah, that's Best good. Best grammar school ever. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly went there and she was so thrilled to be able to transfer from Rick to Wood School. Remember For that? a semester, fifth, I did, yeah. Five, fifth grade, it was, we it moved. Was fun. We were able to mm -hmm. go there too as well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Eric, thank, thank you, you again for yeah, coming up, buddy. Mm -hmm. Kelly, Thanks. good to see you. Thanks I like too. that bracelet. Thank and you, yours sir. too. It's pretty oh, nice. Yeah, thank you. I don't have anything. I'm going to get you one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get you a hemp shirt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us today. Kelly Quinn here and Eric Martinez have been our guests. And if you want to check it out, go to Eric's website, Eric CBD Eric, and of course go to Kelly's Quinn dot massage therapy. Dot massage therapy dot com, com and you can purchase it. I mean, that's if you're going to purchase it or purchase it from Eric or Kelly, because they're here giving you the time and giving you the information, give it a try. From what they say, you're going to love it. I'm telling you, everybody loves it. And I, I and it's interesting, I did not see one negative comment. I've never heard a person tell me it didn't help them or didn't work for them. So that says a lot about it. And I'm right. still going to figure out how I can grow camp on my 20th. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for being with us. Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, actually, tomorrow, we'll see you from 5 to 9 tomorrow night. It's Millville National Night Out. And Josh, Joey, and I, and Lauren, and, and Anthony, and the whole crew, we're going to be out to Lakeside Middle School. Come on over, bring the kids. Lauren can talk with the kids about what they want for Christmas in August or something, whatever you want to do. But anyway, <laughs> we'll be there tomorrow night from 5 to 9 with the Millville Police and all the great displays that will be there. So we hope you'll join us. And you can see it right here live on Comcast Cable Channel 22. And we also have our digital station now. And you can watch that, Eric. Our digital channel is qbctv22.com. And that's nice. worldwide. So anywhere you want to go, you can pick us up. We thank you again. For Kelly and Eric, I'm Jim Quinn. Have a nice night. Take care. Bye-bye.